10 to 15 percent of babies born in the U.S. spend time in the NICU. We just closed out a month all about honoring those tiny fighters and the people giving them the strength to head home. News Channel 9's Nicole Somavilla introduces us to two moms who say the team at St. Joe's kept their families whole while giving them hope. He was almost 10 weeks early. Will Jones spent 52 days in the NICU. Three pounds, six and a half ounces. Rachel's little fighter kept her and her husband splitting hospital duties while also caring for two boys at home. It was really quite draining um, mentally, physically, emotionally. Emotions Elise White is battling through right now. She was about six weeks early, so took us all by surprise. <laughs> What also surprised the new mom, she could stay in her own room overnight, right in the NICU. It's great to kind of have a home away from home. The family-centered focus at St. Joe's is helping her establish breastfeeding and bond with baby Chloe. The one she had yesterday was very brief, not significant. Both things um, Dr. Jonathan Shai calls essential wow. for their development. Even babies on ventilators will let them, you know, hold the baby. Ultimately, if the parents are very involved, can potentially shorten the, the length of stay in the hospital. And while they're here, Elise is grateful for the team helping them celebrate the highs and shoulder the lows. The nurses here have just been so amazing and so supportive of us and have been cheering her along just as we have. And pretty soon, they'll be cheering them out of the hospital so they can start making memories from home like Rachel and Will. Seeing my two older sons interact with him has been really amazing. A heartwarming new beginning, only growing from here. Nicole Somavilla, News Channel 9. If you're looking for support, Project NICU has virtual support groups. Head to localesquire.com for more details.